Hello and welcome to my new gym series, The Good, The Bad and The Juicy, in which I'm going to be explaining a little bit behind how I train, why I train, the exercises I do, the order in which I do them, and anything else that possibly pops into my mind while I'm watching back my training. So this is a chest um, video. So I started off with the incline press. I prefer barbell because when I do dumbbell, I tend to sort of kick my, when you kick the dumbbells up obviously, I can almost feel my shoulders dying because they're sort of like a hair trigger really whether they're going to be injured or not. So as you saw I started off with just a plain um, 20 kilo bar just to get a bit of blood flowing. I moved up to a plate next. Um, I think I squeezed out about 10 reps here. Just feeling the squeeze, aiming just with a dip where I should have an upper chest. Where that dip is rather than going towards the nipples is obviously what you aim for when you do flat bench. But if you were to do this on an incline bench, you're going to hurt your shoulders. So as you can see here, I've actually gone a little bit too heavy. And what's happening is, as I'm pressing, my hips are coming up. And that is not good. Obviously, I had to because I didn't have a spot. And if I didn't do this, I was going to crush myself. But when you are incline pressing and your hips start to come up as they're doing just now, um, you're turning it into a flat bench, really. You're taking out all of the incline and you're making it flat. You might as well just do a normal bench press to be honest and you're just going to hurt your back in the process. So that's a good example of the bad and this is sort of the good this next set where I'm, I've taken a bit of weight off and I'm squeezing out some reps. I'm struggling, I'm still going to failure but not to the point where my form is compromised. So I'll see you on the next exercise. I think I did five sets of these. I did two warm ups and then five working sets. I haven't included them all because you're probably going to get bored. So I'll see you in the next exercise. So I move next into cable flies, just from the top down, because I really like these because I can really feel the squeeze and I can feel the contraction and the blood coming into my chest muscles. And also you can notice in this video, my front deltoids are also getting worked, which is good because these are my shoulders are a big weakness as well as my chest. So really I aim for 10 to 12 reps on these. I want to fail at 12, I don't want to be able to do 13, but I also want to be able to do 12. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just hold, come down, squeeze, hold for half a second at the bottom, and then slowly back up. If you go too fast too, down, it's too heavy, and if you're going too fast up, it's too heavy. You should be able to slow and control the whole way up and the whole way down, and that way you're going to achieve the maximum uh, tearing of the muscles and also the maximum amount of blood flow without injuring yourself. Because again, with these, it's very easy to injure your shoulders if you go too heavy or if your form's wrong. So, this is good form, watch it and learn. I then moved on to flat bench as a third exercise. Most people obviously like to start off with this, but the thing you have to realise is it's not the best um, muscle building exercise for the chest, that would be the incline press. So if you know you want to max out and do your, your favourite lift, you know, up to you, brilliant. For me, I sort of leave the ego at the door. I don't really care how much I'm lifting on the bench because after I've done all of that, you know, the fact I can still bench is pretty good for me, so I'm not too bothered. But again, you don't want to, you might have a little bit of an arch in your back, but I'm not power lifting, I'm not trying to get the maximum weight, I'm just trying to grow my chest. So hips down, because if your hips come up, you're going to arch your back too much, or the other way, sorry, and uh, it's going to hurt and it's going to strain, and a back injury is not what you want. You want to, and when you unrack it, you want to lock in your lats, your shoulders, sorry, and let your lats just unrack it. You shouldn't have to move your shoulders. Your lat muscles should be able to just pull the bar off, that way avoiding an injury. And I think I did four sets of these of 10 reps. Again, I didn't include them all because you're going to get bored. But now we're moving on to the, I'm not sure what this is called, it's a pec deck. That's what it's called. So obviously you have to pull the dodgy faces that I'm pulling because that is the only way to make gains apparently. Uh, so it would seem that yeah with these I don't like to hold the handle the blah, blah, blah. I don't like to hold the handles because when I do I'm not getting the proper squeeze I like to hold the fat bit at the top just okay. because that way I feel like my arms aren't taking over and I'm just sort of I'm not squeezing it I'm just holding it you know so I'm not using my arms in the movement as much I'm just focusing on my chest and again you can see front deltoids working and I did four sets of these 
The same with a fly, I aimed for 10 to 12 reps, failing on that 12th, and obviously being able to do 10. This set, you can see, I've just done about six or seven or something like that, because it was too heavy, but if this is the case and you've gone too heavy, it's not the end of the set. Stop when you can't do any more, and like I did, just lower the weight and just squeeze out a few more just to get the blood flowing. So if you're doing like 80 kilos, just drop it down to 50 and squeeze out a few more just to make sure you've really exhausted the exercise. Then I move back on to flies again, but this time coming from the bottom up because this works more of the upper chest. We'd given it a little bit of a break from doing the inclines to start with. Now we're back again, targeting the upper chest, and this will again hit the front delts. With this, you don't have to go as heavy because it's a little bit more of a tricky movement, so you're going to have to do less weight than you do on a normal cable fly. But you want to come up as if you're sort of... I'm not, I don't know how to describe it. You just need to come up from the outside and come in. You can't just... Sometimes I tend to come up like this, which I can feel a squeeze, but it's best if you come in and squeeze up because the squeeze is much more and you're getting the full contraction rather than just half the contraction. And we all do it. I've done it probably in this video where I've just come out and I've squeezed up, but you need to come down and through when you squeeze on an incline fly. It is a glorious day today and I'm really red in the face because I've just done the workout obviously. <laughs> I look like a tomato. But there you go, that's uh, the first episode of my new series. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you learnt something and if you like it be sure to leave me some feedback down below and also leave a like um, and share it obviously, as always. And uh, from the Matt Hall School of Bulking I've got pizza, it's a pre-workout snack, so post-workout snack sorry. So, Time to get home and go to work, unfortunately, because it's a lovely day, but there you go. Thank you very much.